Hey Garrett, so today is July 16th or July 18th, 2014, and you had two parking tickets that you fought in court today. Tell us how that went. Sure, today I had the unique experience of taking two singular violations and challenging them in one trial. I was issued two parking citations back on February 25th. And it was unique circumstances because it's the first time I've ever received a parking ticket in the city of Keene. I'm one of the Robin Hooders here. I go around filling parking meters, saving other people from tickets. But in this instance, with the first parking ticket, I sort of allowed it to be written. The parking enforcer asked if I wanted to fill the meter, and I said, you know, maybe a court experience is worth five dollars. And I thought it was definitely worth the five and ten dollars that it turned out to be. Uh, later in the day, I was parking and got out and quickly began filling meters and the officer ran over to my expired meter before I even thought to fill it and thought they found victory began writing a ticket I tried to fill it in time but the officer would not allow that to happen and so that was one of the things I challenged in court today so uh, what were your arguments like when you brought this case forward did you use some of the same arguments for both trials or did you have different arguments I sort of had different arguments for each one because in a sense I allowed the first ticket to be written um, and I used some arguments relating to whether or not I did things to assist in the enforcement of the parking uh, regulations in Keene. And I believe that what myself and others do does help the parking department with what they do. And the parking enforcer sort of admitted on the stand that we increased the efficiency of the parking department by causing them to work harder. And so I was glad to have been able to ask all the questions I was able to ask with the parking enforcer. Um, the strategy for the second ticket that I tried to point out was how this parking enforcer used a great deal of enthusiasm and broke with her standard procedure for checking meters in order to dart directly to my vehicle and issue a citation on it. Was the judge persuaded by any of this? Judge Burke is a tough nut to crack. It seems that as I was getting into my line of questioning, he was always trying to keep up with where is this line of questioning going and when he understood what I was getting at he'd start saying oh you're making this argument now and it seemed as though he was going to allow me to make that argument allow me to continue those lines of questioning and then he'd let two or three questions go by before started when there was an objection to them sustained irrelevant um, so I don't understand why the judge if something is irrelevant he couldn't allow it to at least come out in court and he could deem it irrelevant when he's making his decision during the uh, during the, uh, not sentencing, but um, when he's determining guilt or innocence is... Uh, is that adjudication? Point? Sure. I don't know what that's called exactly. But, uh, so what would happen if you didn't pay your fines now that he's found you guilty? I believe it would be jail time would result. It's possible they would take my license, just say that I owe this money and we're taking your license and by taking your license you now owe these fines to get it back, um, fees to get it back. So but you're going to be paying. It was already paid, yes. In fact, it was paid in, uh, partially in Obamacoin. <laughs> um, this was the first time I've ever had Obamacoin. Yeah, Obamacoin Obama on you? Oh, um, yeah, I believe I do. This was the first time Obamacoin's ever been rejected. Or maybe I don't. But, um, yeah, every other time I've tried to pay for things with Obamacoin, it's been accepted. Maybe sometimes they'll ask questions about it. But in this particular instance, um, she, the woman behind the counter did not want to accept any. Yeah, it turns out I don't. But so what do you have in your pocket there? These are normal quarters. These and are boring quarters. And dimes. So in a I, roll, that's what you use for Robin Hooding. Yes. So I paid uh, $5 of the ticket with $5 in dimes, and I tried to pay the other $5 in Obama coin. Now the clerk was only trusting of the Obama coins that had the traditional eagle on the back. Any of the state quarters or national monument quarters she was skeptical of and would not accept. Isn't it so interesting to see what um, bureaucrats accept or find acceptable as state property? Like, oh, well, these quarters I recognize, this is okay. Mm -hmm. But these are unfamiliar to me, I will reject them. Even though they're really all from the state. Another activist suggested that I... Uh, it turns out someone else was there and offered to pay the difference of what was state quarters that they wouldn't accept. Mm. And then when he offered to do that, they sold the other Obama coins to him and said, oh, here you go, and took $5 from him. And he was excited to have gotten the Obama coin at, at the, uh, the spot price because some people pay a premium for them. That's right. <laughs> so uh, was that all how it went? Anything interesting else happened at court? 
Uh, what, tell us about the audience. How many people were there to support you? I personally was not there. I intended to be. I set an alarm to be, but I, I slept through it. Uh, I stayed up way too late last night. There were about four or five people in the audience that were there for the purpose of watching my trial. There was another maybe five or six people that were there for another matter that was scheduled afterwards. And fortunately, judging by the laughter I heard throughout the case, everyone seemed entertained. Were there any members of Stop Freaking who attended? I didn't spot any, other than the uh, friendly parking enforcer who happens to be a member. How do you feel about the fact that StopFreaking.com promoted your trial? They did. I you didn't, didn't know, know that. about this? No, I, to be honest, I do not follow the Stop Freaking website because I consider it to be so disreputable as to not even be worthy of my time. Yeah, but I do actually... try and stop, follow the Facebook page. They listed your and many other uh, Free Stater trials that are happening this month and urged their members to attend. Uh, well, I'm sorry that I didn't draw more, because I like to think that I'm one of the ones that Stop Free Keen loves the most. They love you. They love yeah. to follow what's going on with you. I was so delighted when they protested my barbecue. It was so humbling. Yeah, speaking of, uh, my, my little sister emailed me today and she said she loved the barbecue that you had in the park and that... She and her church group had a, a, a barbecue as well, and she was thinking about Robin Hood when that happened. Wow. So, um, what's next for you? What's next for Robin Hood? What can we expect out of Garrettian? Oh, well, we're continuing every day in the streets to keep those meters filled. Um, the city is trying all sorts of new ways to deter us, like they have this credit card payment system, and they try and are double dipping by making people pay and then having us pay their meter as well, and we wouldn't know. But none of these schemes are going to stop Robin Hooding from continuing here in Keene, um, not until the parking is liberated and the people can park freely and, and justly. But um, yeah, this whole court system, it's a shame. Like, if we had just sat down and had a conversation about the issues at hand, I think it would be a lot more productive than the structuring that one needs where you can ask questions and they're deemed relevant or irre irrelevant. And I thought it was unfortunate the judge would not allow my full argument to be made. But what I think it is, is practice for the next case, because there inevitably will be a next case. And yeah, I think it's, uh, it's always good to, to practice, and that parking tickets provide us a great means to practice court. Do you envision a day when you will win every parking ticket because you've gotten so much practice? Well, I'd like to think that if I, I don't forget to jump through the state's hoops and just always fill my meter. But uh, that's another reason why I advocate bicycling. They, they can't tax you for that. Very cool. Hey, thanks so much for your time. Oh, for sure. Oh, you're at freeconquer.org, and the video will also be there, I expect. And yes. also freekeen.com. Mm -hmm. And the raw videos are already uploading to Freeman TV Raw. Very cool. Thanks, Garrett.